Today, let's talk about choices. We have choices for everything in our lives, but sometimes it doesn't always feel that way. Sometimes it feels like we are in the machine of life that we're not really in charge of, but that's not quite the truth. Everything that happens in our world comes to and to us from a choice that we make. Even not making a choice is a choice. And I think that's an important distinction to make. We have more in our awareness and more in control in our lives than oftentimes we believe we do. And when we change the lens that we look at and we move from an I have to, to an I choose to mentality, it changes a lot. With my coach, I have a coach that I work with every couple of weeks. Uh, one of the things that he said a couple of weeks ago, we were talking about living my life and being who I want to be, which I think I do a pretty good job of. Of course, just like everybody, I'm learning and I'm growing and I'm becoming more of who I want to be. I know that one of the things in this year that I want to do is I want to work smarter, not harder. Just because I go, I can do that. I want to think twice or three times, but do I want to do it? Am I doing something out of an obligation? Am I doing something just for the frivility? That's not a word. For, am I doing it because it sounds like a good thing to do? Um, do I really want to? Is it going to add to my life? And there was a question that he asked. If I'm really living this stuff that I preach, that I talk about, would I make the same choices? And I ask this to you. If you are living your true authentic life, would you make the same choices? And that actually has me pairing back a few things that I had thought that I wanted to do this year because they're really not important. They don't add to the bigger scope of life. Sure, I can do an extra workshop. It would benefit some people, but is it going to benefit me long-term? I don't know. Over the past few weeks, I've had uh, I've been dealing with COVID and I'm at the end of COVID and feeling much better and realizing that even that time that it takes to heal and takes to mend is an important one. And I've been thinking through this. If I'm living my best authentic congruent life, would this be the choice that I make? And sometimes over the past couple of weeks, I've chosen to go back to bed because I'm out of energy where I know in the past I would have continued to move and do things. I was chatting to a few friends about this during the past couple weeks because finally getting that that message because I ended up with a PCR test from COVID because my two home tests told me that I was negative. When I finally got the message that says you are positive, I went, oh, okay, I can stop that. I can stop trying to feel better. I can stop taking the medicine because it wasn't working anyway. I can stop pushing myself that extra little bit and I can start making the choices that are the ones that are probably rightest for me in that moment, which was resting, taking a nap, stopping, watching television, uh, connecting with friends when I could, but saying, no, I'm sorry when I can't. And I want to take that into the rest of this year and make sure that the choices that I'm making, and I encourage you to do the same, make sure that the choices that you're making are aligned with who you are not who you want to be, not who you will be, but who you are, because that's who you are becoming. And unraveling and unpeeling the have tos and the must musts and the shoulds, and really coming back to if I lived my life authentically and congruently, would I make this choice? Would I eat that extra slice of cake? Would I sit instead of walk around the block? Would I, would I, would I? The choices we take, the choices we make, the life we take. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share it, and I will see you next time.